A fiber internet was first introduced to the city of Rexburg about a decade ago, yet it was reserved for the business district until today. Eyewitness News 3's Evan Thomason shows us how fiber optics is expanding to the residents of Rexburg. Silver Star Communications partnered up with the city of Rexburg for a huge project called Light Bridge. It will provide fiber optics to all homes within the city limits instead of basic internet. I say something and then they start to talk and I talk again and we talk over top of each other on FaceTime. It's like that stuff goes away and it really feels like my kids that live several hours away from their grandparents get to talk with them and feel like they're really connecting. Fiber Internet will provide its users with up to 10 times the speed of basic Internet. The funding for the project might give customers more excitement, though. They say not a cent of taxpayer money will be used to cover the construction costs. It's a 100% privately invested network, um, but it's going, we are going to open up the infrastructure investment that we're making to other Internet service providers so that it will be an open Internet um, an open access um, delivery model where customers, residences will be able to choose from multiple uh, internet service providers who are participating on the network. Thornburg with Lightbridge says once homes have their fiber installed, they can expect service at a cheaper price. The other part about fiber that's unique is it's a lot more affordable. You wouldn't think so because it's such a better service, uh, but we're finding that our, our prices monthly are actually going to be less than what customers currently pay. After so many years of putting Lightbridge together, city leaders are beyond excited with all of the opportunities ahead. We see a lot of, a lot of demand, a lot of need as far as uh, education, work from home, but also companies who are looking to come into the Rexburg market. Uh, so this is a huge project for us. The project all starts here July the 1st and is expected to last three years in order to cover all the residents of Rexburg. Reporting in Rexburg, I'm Evan Thomason.